Hello and welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and this time we've got a long term review on the Anang AN888S bench multimeter um, complete with built in Bluetooth speaker would you believe. Um, I've had this about six months um, and this review is looking at what I've mainly used it for and how I've found it in use. Um, I guess my main uses have been voltage, resistance and capacitance so that's what I'm going to focus on um, from a testing point of view um, and I can tell you also what it's been like um, to live with here in the lab as a, as a practical instrument. So let's get testing. Okay well here we are with the Aineng um, AN888S um, we're just going to look at um, capacitance and that's one of the things that's actually quite impressed me about this meter, its ability to uh, read capacitance and quite a bit beyond its stated range too. So I've got a selection of capacitors here all connected to a, a common rail. So we'll just start randomly in the middle. I've got 100 nanofarad here um, and you can see fairly quickly it's saying 100.6. Um, I'm going to put a table up so you can see some other measurements I've made with another meter and you can compare the accuracy but certainly that, that's a stated 100 nanofarads on the capacitor. Uh, I've got 100 and uh, well 0.15 microfarads here although I suspect the machine will want to do that in nanofarads yeah. 146 as opposed to um, uh, 150 so again um, pretty close really. Um, this one is uh, well 16.55 should be uh, uh, it's a stated value of 15 so again that's that's pretty good and I've got um if I can just find the connection uh, I've got a it's a point a point one here but it's coming up as 10 nanofarads so that is correct uh, down to a small ceramic at this end um, and yeah that's about right 1.2 seems about right this end we've got some electrolytics so um, got a 10 microfarad here and takes it a little longer to get there switches to microfarads and yeah it's saying about 10.5 microfarads so um, that's the first electrolytic we've got a 220 microfarad hidden just down there a, a radial um, leaded one uh, and yeah 217, um, 216.5 and it's supposed to be 220 so again that's that's pretty close really. Now although this one is stated as 1500 microfarads it's quite an old electrolytic so uh, it's um, uh, quite a bit off as you'll see from the table. Uh, so here now um, it's actually saying uh, 1980 microfarads. Notice the auto ranging has now gone to milli farads so 10 to the minus 3 as opposed to 10 to the minus 6 and um, finally we've got a 4700 microfarad um, and if I just put that on there just take it a moment or two to just make its mind up about what it is but there we are it's saying um, about 4389 something like that um, millifarads so 4378 microfarads um, so that's the, the capacitance performance and um, if you now have a look at the table okay let's look at the measurement data I've taken from the Aineng 888S and what I've done um, is I've actually used my uh, East Tester ET3240 to take um, a set of measurements and I've taken the average of at least 50 for each measurement and then I've gone on to use the uh, an triple eight s um, to measure the same component or voltage depending on what it was. Now I uh, made sure both instruments had been warmed up um, for um, plenty, so they were well, it was at least 30 minutes actually. I ran the Anang on, uh, on a power supply so the battery timer didn't time out and so first set of results were for capacitance and I took a, a selection of capacitors here they are and um, sizes from from quite large down to one nanofarad. Uh, these are the results I got from the East Tester. Um, the two large electrolytics are reasonably old and so not surprised they weren't terribly accurate. Um, the Anang came up with these numbers and I appreciate you now looking at a screen full of numbers and it's easy to go a bit goggle-eyed so the bit that really matters I feel is this column which is the percentage difference 
Now bear in mind the ANANG doesn't actually um, say it will measure up to 4700 microfarads actually to be 6% out I think it's doing pretty well and as you can see the rest of the measurements are, are all um, less than 5% so uh, I think that's pretty good certainly um, well within the requirements of a hobbyist. On to uh, resistance and on resistance uh, took um, again a selection of resistors from very small to very large the East Tester um, wasn't very keen on the 0.1 ohm resistor, it reckoned it was 0.17 and funnily enough the Anang uh, reckoned it was about 0.19 um, and they were the biggest differences from uh, from stated value um, so you can see you've got 11.7% at the top there between the East Tester and the Anang but to be fair I think that's a pretty tough test, 0 0.1 ohm so I'm not too concerned about that. As soon as we get um, above that as you can see um, measurements are actually very good in fact uh, we're only still less than 2% up at uh, uh, over 8 mega ohms so again from a hobbyist point of view absolutely excellent uh, and finally voltage um, and what I did with voltage I took five sorry four um, voltages from my bench power supply I let it stabilize and then I took a set of 50 measurements with the East tester which are those I then used the ANANG for the same and again here's the percentage difference which I get is the bit that, bit that matters and the percentage difference on voltage actually I think is very very good indeed so yeah um, perfectly good for uh, from a hobbyist point of view okay so you've seen the data they're almost there with um, with my long-term review um, just a couple more things to mention firstly of course it's also a Bluetooth speaker which is a little bit bizarre for a multimeter but it is nonetheless um, and some of the reviews I've seen are, are quite positive about it others are um, sort of almost quite scathing about it they say it sounds rubbish I don't actually think it does sound rubbish considering what it is and if you're somebody who likes to listen to uh, to music or to, to podcast or something while you're uh, working away in your lab then it's potentially quite useful and um, sound is pretty good um, I've got uh, my phone uh, connected to it here so we'll just have a quick listen it's only on the uh, uh, camera's microphone but it gives you an idea It's actually got quite a reasonable um, bass response as well, so um, yeah, I think think that's okay. Not too worried about a YouTube copyright it on that, um, being as I wrote the music and uh, played it. So if I do get a copyright hit, um, somebody's stolen my song, which is probably pretty unlikely. Anyway, a um, couple of criticisms you often hear voiced about the meter are, first of all, that the power switch is on the back. Um, yeah, I suppose that could be a pain in the neck for some people. In fact, I find it. I just had it somewhere I could easily reach around and just press the button. There it go, ding, as it connects to the Bluetooth. And there you go. Um, so I don't find that too much of an issue. Um, particularly nice display. I quite like that. Um, people have also criticised it because it's very difficult to get to the fuses. You've got to um, have a, a get inside the back to do that. Um, I've never blown a multimeter fuse in nearly 50 years of playing with electronics so I've clearly been very lucky um, or perhaps I'm a bit risk averse that's not all, not such a bad thing um, and uh, apart from that um, not much more to say about it really I got mine from Banggood so I'll put a link down below to where you can get it from um, uh, yeah pretty pleased with it nice uh, nice clear display Seem, seems to do the job so um, can't be bad Thanks very much for watching, um, hope it's been useful to you. If you've liked it, please click the thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. It would be great if you could subscribe. Either way, thanks very much for watching my channel and hope to see you on the next one.